Hello, Angela. Hello, Ava. How are you today? I'm good. That's good. Um, <laughs> are you nervous about the big match on Sunday? Um, I am a little bit nervous about the big game on Sunday, but I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really excited about getting to play in Croke Park and running out on the pitch and hopefully winning an All-Ireland medal. So I'm excited about that. Yeah. What is your favourite pastime other than camogie? Oh, I've loads of pastimes other than camogie. Um, I play other sports. I play Gaelic football, as you know, with Three Friars Club. Yeah. And I also play hockey with Waterford Hockey Club. And I like to go out and socialise every so often with my friends when I get a chance. So yeah. lots of other pastimes. Yeah. Who was the biggest influence on your career when you were younger? Oh, on my camogie career? Um, Oh gosh, there were loads. There were so many good mentors in Mullinavat in the Camogie Club. So Tom Anthony, who lives up your road, I think, or maybe up the Buckstown Hill. Um, and Mick Carl, RIP from Mullinavat as well. He was big time involved with us growing up. Um, yeah. I think with the county, Brendan Williams um, brought me into the under-14 squad years and years ago. So again, he was a big influence on my Camogie career as well. Okay. Questions are okay so far. I'm not too scared. I'm waiting for the bad ones. <laughs> this one is very bad. Oh so. no! <laughs> um, would you invite Donald Trump or Barack Obama on the, to dinner? Oh my god! Um, <laughs> I'd have to go with uh, uh, Donald Trump. I think Barack Obama might be a bit boring, but we get a bit of fun out of Donald Trump. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, where in the world would you like to visit? Oh, where would I like to visit? I've visited lots of places. I'm really lucky because I've been able to travel to lots of places around the world. Um, I've been to uh, Southeast Asia and to Australia and New Zealand. I'd love to go to South America. And I was actually planning to go to South America this summer, but uh, a little thing called the All-Ireland got in the way. So <laughs> I didn't get to go this year, but maybe next year. Uh, what famous person would you like to meet? Hmm, famous person, if I could meet anybody in the world. Who would I like to meet? Um, I like David Walliams. I think he's really funny. Yeah. And I'd like to meet Simon Cowell as well. I think he'd also be an interesting character to meet. Yeah. Um, other than that, I don't know. Maybe the Dalai Lama. Mm. Very philosophical one there. <laughs> um, what is the best movie you've ever seen? Oh, I'll go with the, the usual one, The Shawshank Redemption. I actually watched it a couple of weeks ago again and I really love that movie. It's great. <laughs> okay, um... Which do you prefer, the the skirt or the shorts? I actually kind of like the skirt. I think it's um, it looks better, I think, than the shorts. I know lots of people would kill me for saying that, but actually I prefer the skirt. I think it looks well and it distinguishes camogie then from the other sports in the GAA, so it's nice to have it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you could marry any of the Kenny Herders, <laughs> who, <laughs> who would you... Who would it be? Who would I pick out the Kilkenny Hurling team? And oh you have to answer, oh, answer it. this question. You have to. Oh my God, Ava. Did you say this was okay to ask? I couldn't marry any of the Kilkenny Hurling team. I'd be in trouble then, my own boyfriend, if I did. But if I really, really, really had to. Oh God. <laughs> you have to. Okay. Um, if I really, really had to marry one of them, I'd probably pick... Um, Owen Murphy, I'll say from Glenmore, because he won't be embarrassed that I said that. Please don't be embarrassed, Owen. Oh, <laughs> Next question, um, move on quickly. Um, oh, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> what part of your game would you like to improve on? Oh, Kira Holden and Julia Malone will tell you this. Definitely uh, my scoring of wides. I tend to put a lot of wides during a game, so I'd like to be able to score a bit more accurately. Yeah. Okay. What was your favorite? What was your favorite match? Oh, um, loads of good matches for us in the championship this year. Uh, the semi final was great to win, and um, but definitely yeah. my favorite game was the Tipperary game. Myself and Kira Holden were delighted with ourselves that way. They um, so oh, that was a good game for us, a good start to our campaign. So that was probably my favorite game. Yeah. Um, what is the worst injury you've ever got? Oh, I got an injury off the field unfortunately once after an All-Ireland College's Camogie final which sidelined me for the whole year. I ended up moving to Australia at the end of the year because I couldn't play Camogie. I had a bad knee injury but thankfully recovered fully from it. So, What was the worst injury you ever gave somebody else? <laughs> 
<laughs> in a football match once um, a girl lost her front tooth in my forehead so that's probably the, the worst one it actually got stuck in my forehead and fell out on the ground yes yeah, so that's probably the worst okay <laughs> uh, what's the most in- embarrassing thing you've ever done in front of your class oh in school oh there's been there's been a few uh, what was your most embarrassing most one embarrassing then? oh my god um, I've fallen over a couple of times in my classroom, in my classroom in England. Not, not, I've been okay here. I used to teach over in England, so they've probably seen more of the embarrassing times. Yeah. Um, and I had a, a, a moment where I got sick in the bin once as well in my classroom. <laughs> also very embarrassing. I can't believe I said that. It's true. Oh. Um, I'd like to play for Kenny someday. What? What advice would you give? What advice would you give? Um, well, from seeing you playing Camogie down in Mullavat and seeing you how well you train, I think definitely if you keep going the way you're going, you'll definitely play for Kilkenny. The advice I would give is the same as I give to anybody: is work hard and keep at it, um, keep practicing the key skills, the same skills over and over again, which is something you do every time I see you. You have a hurl in your hand, and you're always yeah. in the hurling field, so you're well on your way to making a Kilkenny team in the future. So just keep at it, even if you have years where maybe you don't make the team. It's definitely worth sticking at it and you'll get there eventually so good yeah. luck with that I'll be back to embarrass you in years to come <laughs> that's it good woman thanks very much uh. <laughs>